Hey y'all, welcome to Yellow Texas, the show that gives you an in-depth look at some of the coolest, most interesting spots all around the Lone Star State. I'm your host, AC, and we've got a fun episode for you today. Not only will we explore the world's largest auto auction, we're also making our way to a competition known as the most dangerous dance on dirt. But first, we know Austin is known for some of the greatest craft beer, which means that if you're thinking of opening up a brewery, you've got to have something pretty special to stand out, right? Well, our next destination is proving they've got what it takes to thrive in this tight-knit community, and it's creating quite the buzz. So are you ready to try some of the best ale in Austin? We'll tag along with our resident texper and founder of Texas Humor, J.D. Saceda. So today we're at The Yard, which is one of South Austin's newest big retail developments. Happens to be home to my office for Texas Humor, one of my favorite coffee shops, and most importantly, my favorite brewery. So why don't you come along with me, we'll grab a quick coffee, take a walk through our operations, and then we'll go grab a beer to round out the day. The Yard was formerly an industrial warehouse complex, but now features a great mix of retail offices and warehouses like ours. Almost daily, I stop in for a cold Americano to go from my friends at Spokesman. Thanks so much. So when we first moved in, we were in this facility right here, and uh, we were in about 3,200 square feet. Now we've got 8,000 here, 10,000 in the back, which is where all the Texas Humor gear is, and then a few more thousand up in the front where our offices are now located. So at least once a day, I normally go grab a coffee, try to walk through our warehouses where all the Texas Humor products ship from, so that's what you're seeing here on the shelf. But then I round out the afternoon with meetings, mostly about design, social media, and all things Texas. So this is the shirt that started it all. It's our Ain't Texas. Everybody's seen this at least once. If you haven't, then you need to go to texashumor.com and buy one. Our Texas Humor office is where we do our design, social media, and customer service work when we're not over enjoying beer at St. Elmo. Open in 2016, St. Elmo Brewing Company is the perfect balance of fun, innovative, and delicious, offering a huge variety of unique, thought-provoking brews that'll satisfy even the pickiest of beer connoisseurs. And up first, we met with owners Tim Bullock and Brian Winslow to get the inside scoop on this one-of-a-kind brewery. I think both Brian and I really wanted a place that felt kind of like a backyard, mm -hmm. like uh, something that wouldn't be completely industrial, it seemed like you were in a fabricating place. Yeah. We wanted to be relatively comfortable, so, and that was like a focus for this whole whole scene right there. Yeah. One of the most important things that we really tried to focus on in the early times was keeping it open, which was really important for us. You know, one of our kind of mantras in creating the brewery was breaking down the barrier between the brewer and the drinker, create an open dialogue, and the only way to do that is to, is to make the brewery open. Yeah, one of my favorite aspects of the brewery is that it's kid-friendly. You guys just having the space for our kiddo to run around. I really like that. Was it important to have a yard when you guys moved in here and, and having that open space outside? Yeah, that's actually, I think that's part of what tipped the scales on this particular building right gotcha. here. Cool. That anytime you hang out around Austin, you know that they're, having an outdoor space is like super, super important. And yeah. that was really high on our, our want list. What was the driving force behind wanting to be in this specific area in South Austin? Well, th I think the first thing is the name. I mean, St. Elmo was a town like 130 years ago. Um, it was a village of like 90 people, and then they named the street after it. Now the kind of the whole district is named St. Elmo. So we've covered all the details. Can you guys give us a view behind the curtain and show us a little bit more about the beer? Sure, let's do it. So right now we're standing and it's called the brew house. Think of brewing as kind of having two parts. There's a hot side and there's cold side. Right, we're gonna mash, mix uh, grain and hot water. Yeah. And we're going to louder, okay. separate the grain from the water. Uh, and then we're gonna run all of that, um, that mash water, cold wort, into the kettle where we're gonna boil, sterilize, we're gonna add hops, we're gonna add flavor and bitterness and all that kind of stuff. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is go to cold side. We're gonna cool it down. And then that's where, honestly, like where like I think like the magic happens, and that's where you give it to yeast, and yeast is gonna start to create more flavors and turn all that sugar water that we made into alcohol and CO2. There is no time like fermentation time. Mm -hmm. 
All these beers are only available here. And one of the things that we focus on at St. Elmo is the concept of fresh beer, just like yeah. produce. It is best here. And so all this beer travels from where we were in the brew house through the cellar to the tap wall. It's about 50 feet from where it started and where you're drinking it. So and we're, yeah, we're really proud of that. I, I feel like this is asking someone who their favorite kid is, but do you have a favorite beer that you guys brew? I mean, I. I love them all in different ways, but I, I drink the most Carl. Yeah, most absolutely. Carl. He's easy drinking. It's 4.6 percent. It's filtered, um, and and also has you know plenty of his own character. If chemistry class had been anything like this in high school, I would have definitely had an A. It's so amazing that you can take so few ingredients and so few processes and end up with so many different types of beer. It's pretty cool. I really appreciate you walking me through checking out the the brewing process, but. Most importantly, we're gonna to get to the beer. So this is uh, Karl Kolsch. It's a traditional uh, German style ale. It's not quite a lager, not quite an ale. It's yeah. kind of its own thing, and it really, really works well for hot Texas summers, which of course we get nine months out of the year. Yeah, this is my favorite. It's, it's really crisp and, and fresh and, yeah. and light, and uh, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't feel like I'm drinking lunch with right. it. Yeah. Beer's not anything if not really fun, and we always try to include a little bit of humor in everything that we do. Yeah. And so this one is named kind of in honor of uh, Amber, which is a 311 song, right. so that's the reason why the beer is named that way. We decided to make this one, which is kind of like pow cut in half. Okay. So half of a pow is a pew pew, yeah. and so <laughs> that's what that one is. Okay, so on to the steak beer. Yeah, uh, the Angus. The steak beer. Uh, all we right. want to have chocolate cake. This is what we'll have it with. So in addition to some amazing beer, St. Elmo Brewing Company is also home to some amazing food options, thanks to the folks in the Soursop food truck that's right over here. Smell great. Hmm. If you ever find yourself on the south side of Austin, Texas, make sure that you stop by San Elmo Brewing Co. and enjoy yourself like I am. Adios, y'all. Want to check out St. Elmo Brewery Company for yourself? Just visit the link below to learn more.